Lawn sprinklers come in many shapes and sizes, but I've never seen anything that looked like this one. Now this orbit isn't just weird looking, it claims to be the only sprinkler on the market that can not only control the direction that it shoots water, it can even adjust the pressure. In not just one setting, you can actually set this to spray the water at different distances depending on the layout of your yard, meaning that this sprinkler should be the most customizable sprinkler on the market. But there was just one problem, and that was the reviews. They were about 30% negative. Now that didn't make any sense because this thing only cost about 30 bucks, and Orbit's a big company. So I decided to order one of these for myself and see if it actually worked or was it just an overpriced piece of junk. The first thing you can adjust is the amount that the head rotates. You can go between 30 degrees and 360, which is a full circle. But this is the setting that no one else has, the ability to shoot the water further and nearer, depending on the shape of your area to be watered. And many people have small lots with shapes like this, and they may not want to throw the water or waste it in areas that don't need it. To get started, we need to put the sprinkler into the ground, and that's easy because it includes those spikes built right into the base. Now we need to just connect our water supply and then we can see how this thing actually works. With the water on, things didn't really look too impressive and I figured something might be wrong or maybe this is why people were giving it negative reviews. But then as the head was rotating, I noticed something happened. As it hit a certain point, the jet changed and the water started spraying a lot further. And it was changing because you need to adjust each one of those wheels on the outside of the sprinkler. Now if you don't want to adjust them, you can just turn them all the way out and you'll get maximum pressure everywhere. Changing the settings is easy, you just use that small red key that they include and you turn each knob if you want to adjust the distance. If you turn it to the left, think of opening it, the water will go further and if you turn it to the right, it'll go a shorter distance. This example, you can see that stream of water is fine on the lawn, but it's going too far and it's still getting into the bed. So I make a few adjustments to those knobs and now watch what happens to the stream of water. It cuts the flow way down as it passes the bed, but once it clears it, it goes to full pressure to hit all of the lawn ahead of it. That's a pretty amazing feat of mechanical engineering, and it kind of works like an old music box. There are pins inside that put pressure on the jet, and as it rotates, it hits them and it changes the pressure to exactly what you want. So the sprinkler definitely works, it's affordable, so why then all the negative reviews? Well, I think it comes down to a couple of things, and the first is actually using it. Here's a diagram of the area I wanted to water with an irregular shape, so this thing should be perfect. But adjusting it is pretty confusing. The black portion there is where the water comes out, and that red dot on the back is actually the part that you adjust. So if you want the water to fire out to that corner there and you want to adjust the distance, you actually have to adjust the knob on the opposite side. They did it that way so that you wouldn't get wet while you were making the adjustments. But for most people, you figure that if you want to make an adjustment, you'll adjust the circle that's pointing towards the area you want to water. And the other problem is wherever you place it in the yard, if you don't put it in the exact same place, the adjustments won't really be any good. Now this won't be a problem if you stick it in a fixed corner or you make a marker somewhere in your lawn, but for most people this may not be practical. And the other issue is not everyone has an irregular shaped lot or really cares about wasting a little bit of water. And the easier solution might just be to lower your existing sprinkler and spray a little bit less water so that it doesn't even reach the bed or the fence at all. And overall, the sprinkler was really cool. It did exactly what they advertised, but I did find it a little bit confusing to use, so I think that's what would account for the negative reviews. And the fact is, most people probably don't need to get a sprinkler like this, and maybe even building your own or putting one together like the one I did in my old video might be a better solution for a lot of folks out there. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.